wants to do this thing and a little independent film as well. I think the thing I was drawn to most about this film is uh, the concept of, of masculinity and, and speaking about it in a new way uh, and also addressing some of these issues that I think don't get addressed very often. Um, and also brotherhood as a, as a theme within it. Um, you know, I have brothers and, and spent a lot of time with them growing up and uh, worked with them quite a bit. So, you know, it's something that I really connected to. And, um, I learned a lot uh, in making the film, both uh, about myself and yeah. about the process of making a movie and everything, and it was a really rewarding experience. What would you say you learned about yourself, if I may, if I may ask that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's about really affection on, on some level and the ability to show affection as a man uh, without fear of being judged in, on some level uh, and being okay with that. And, and uh, unfortunately, what happens in this film is that Affection actually plays itself out uh, through violence, you know, and the real desire to be accepted by other men uh, and kind of willing to do whatever. And in this circumstance, it plays out uh, through this horrible hazing and, and uh, goes to the dark side, uh, you know. And I, I play a, a gay fighter on uh, a TV show called Kingdom. And, and so masculinity as a whole is a, a big theme in my life as an actor at the moment and uh, it's really just opened up a lot of conversation and uh, challenges and, and uh, made me more open and aware you know which I think is, is always a good thing. You kind of deplore the fact that you were supposed to be part of a group and not wanting to, um, to be the first to kind of chicken out so to speak yeah. the word goes. Yeah. yeah and it's about kind of being a part of that pack you know and, and the expectation within it um, which is I think what drives a lot of the story and and then uh, besides that element of it is is the brotherhood and the fact that uh i think there are a lot of great things about fraternities and and, and you know this isn't an indictment of fraternity culture by any means but more you know uh, about just starting a conversation you think great relationship it's, it's kind of hard i think that if if there's insecurity uh it's always going to be tough you know I, I i am fortunate to be in a spot where i'm, I'm perfectly comfortable uh, with my ability to, to be in touch with um, my, mo my more vulnerable side, uh, probably because of my artistry, both in music and, and also as an actor, you kind of have to be. You, know, you have no choice but to, to dig deep in that way. Uh, and I'm surrounded by people that encourage that. But I think if I had taken a different route, and I was you know, in school, went to college, and, and sports were a big part of my life. If even in organized sports, you see some of that pressure to maintain uh, whatever the, the world view of masculinity is, um, I'm sure I would have felt it on some level, you know. Um, nobody's, nobody's pushing a, a football player to, to show his more emotional side, you know. <laughs> it's quite the opposite. Uh, so I, I think that um, I'm, I'm really grateful to be in the position I'm in. Yeah, and you're 